Today, we're converting iPhone images or any phone image into a RAW file using Topaz Gigapixel AI. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. Yes, today I'm going to show you how to convert your iPhone image or any uh, phone image into a RAW file with Gigapixel AI. This is going to be really cool, and it's really simple and easy to do. But there's a few steps you have to follow. By the way, today is the last day for the Gigapixel AI sale where you get it for $79.99 and you'll receive an additional 15% off when you use my promo code David Kelly at the checkout. And so that's a nice saving, so I just want to let you know. But I was going through this uh, website page, Topaz's page, and I noticed at the very bottom here, I was going through here, and I noticed, hey, that's my video, Lightroom and Photoshop Workflow with Gigapixel. Hey, thanks, Topaz. I really appreciate that. And now back to the matter at hand. Now, this is something you don't want to do. If you want to convert your image to a RAW file, you don't want to be in your Photos app and just right-click your image and then come down here and say, Edit with Gigapixel AI. Because what will happen, it's going to go ahead and launch Gigapixel AI. And there's that new cool splash screen. I really like that, okay? But here comes your image, okay? And you'll notice it converted your image into a TIFF file. Now, I've already done this. If I do all my adjustments in here and click Apply, It'll send it right back into Apple Photos and will not give me the option to convert it to a RAW file. So that is what you don't want to do. What I'm showing you now applies to if you have an iPhone and you have the uh, Apple Photos app on your desktop computer. Now, if I right click on any one of these images and, get, and click on Get Info, you'll notice it tells me, this image is an HEIC file. This is a special Apple format, okay? And I think you have a choice in iPhones. I'm pretty sure whether you use uh, HEIC or you could, I think, set it up as a RAW file if you want to, or a JPEG. Now, I use the HEIC. It's, it's kind of compressed, but it does a really good job. I don't use RAW in my iPhone simply because it takes up too much space. You know, RAW files are a lot bigger than HEIC files. And I don't have a lot of freed up storage space, but this is where Gigapixel AI comes to my rescue. In the Apple Photos app, here's what you want to do. Select your images. I'm just going to select these three images. Come up here to File and come down to Export. Now, you have two options here. You can export three photos. That's what I have, three photos that I've selected. Or I could go to Export Unmodified Original for three photos. That's the one you want. If you choose Export Three Photos, you're given a choice of photo kind. You can either you have a JPEG, TIFF, or PNG, but remember, we want a RAW file, so we don't want that. I'm going to cancel. So let's come back up to file again and go to export. This time, we're going to choose export unmodified original for three photos, okay? It's going to keep them in their original format, be that JPEG or HEIC. If they're in RAW, there's no need to do it. They're already in RAW, but we're going to convert to RAW. Now, you have an option here to export IPTC as an XMP. I'm not going to do that. And then you have a choice of file name. You can name your file different ways. I'm going to use sequential. I gave it a prefix gigapixel test. It'll just number them like 01, 02, and 03, okay? And then all we have to do is click export. And when we do your file browser will open up and now you just have to tell your computer where you want these images to live. Now I just put mine inside of a uh, folder that I made called uh, Gigapixel HEIC Apple. I'm gonna click Export Originals and now they're gonna go in that folder. And then just go ahead and launch uh, Gigapixel and after it opens up, I'll show you what to do. And it opens up really quick now. Everything is in real time here. So what we're going to do is come up here to File, and we can click on Open Images, or you can come here and see where it says Drop Folder or Images. I'm going to click on Browse. It opens up my file browser. And just point uh, your file browser to where your images are. Mine are in this folder called Gigapixel HEIC Apple. I'm going to select all three of these images and click Open. And it's just that simple. So now I'll have my HEIC images in here. And now I'll show you how to convert them over to RAW files. And by the way, no matter if you have an iPhone or any other kind of a phone that you're taking images with, when you click on Open Images, just uh, point Gigapixel to where those files are living and all the same principles that I'm showing you will apply. Let's start out by coming down to the lower left-hand corner of this interface and let's take a look at the size of this image right now. 
These are right out of my phone. They're 3024 by 4032, which is a decent size image. Right now, I have them set to upsize two times, which will turn them into 6048 by 8064 images. But what if I did not want to do that? What if I just want to keep them in their original size? However, just change them into RAW files. And I'll show you how to do that. Just come up to the upper right-hand side of the interface. See where it says scale? Right now I'm on 2x. Just come here where it has the dot 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 x. Click on that. And you'll see the 2 there. Just change that 2 to a 1. And when you do, it'll keep that original size but we're gonna change it into a raw file. So we're really not using Gigapixel for upsizing or downsizing. Gigapixel will downsize, Gigapixel will upsize, but it'll also keep the original size and convert over to any kind of image you want, be it a TIFF, DNG, JPEG, whatever. You can do it all with Gigapixel. Now you may be asking yourself this question, hey, if I can do this with Gigapixel, do I need JPEG to raw AI? Well, really, I don't think you do. In fact, I, this is just a hunch and I think I may be right on this, but I don't think uh, Topaz are gonna keep on updating JPEG to raw AI. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you think in the uh, comment section below, but I think Gigapixel honestly can do it because you can upsize with it you can downsize with it you can convert images to raw and with this new update gigapixel is really the best it's ever been all right then we're going to keep these at the same size so now let's just uh, go ahead and choose an ai model and i would recommend for these images just click on standard here because i think for standard that's all you really need because the your your phone images are really good today. I mean, these modern cameras, iPhones, and, and other cameras, they're, they're really great. They do a really excellent job. So I would recommend leave it on standard, okay? And for settings, leave your settings on auto. I think that's going to do a great job for you. I mean, you can go in and, you know, go closer, zoom in, and really examine your images. Because Gigapixel is going to get rid of noise. It's going to sharpen up the images in that auto setting. It's pretty much going to take care of it for you. But if you need to do any extra adjustments, zoom in and look all around. Like I said in my last video, always be a detective. Zoom in, check around. And if you need to adjust the suppressed noise or the remove blur, go ahead and do it. Now, as far as additional settings, reduce color bleed, I've never used that. I really have never had a need for that, so I'm just leaving that off. I generally recommend you're pretty much going to leave that off unless you need to. Face refinement, if you have a lot of small faces in the image and that, Gigapixel takes that into consideration, and that really helps it when it's uh, doing its conversion. And then come down to the bottom left-hand corner and see right now where it says select all. I have that checked because every one of my images are going to be kept at the same size times one. And they're all going to be converted to uh, raw images. So that's important. Leave that select all checked on. And next, click on save three images. In my case, I have three. If you had four or five, remember, this is a batch processor. So click on that. And now this uh, start batch processing dialog comes up. Now, follow me closely here. Come to image format. Right now, it says preserve source format. So it would keep it as an HEIC, right? But we don't want that. We want to come in here and click this, open this up, and come down and choose DNG. All right? And then you come to file name. You can give it an auto file name. I'm just going to do the auto file name and... It's going to output, we'll have AI model name and scale values appended to the original name, which is cool. I want that. I'm going to let it go right back to the same source directory so it'll be easier for me to find. And that's really all I have to do. And now I'm going to click start. And in real time, we'll see how long it takes to uh, batch process these three images out. Turn these HEIC files into raw files. Now I'll click start. And we're off to the races, and it's pretty darn quick here. So we'll see how long it takes for each one of these. So remember, we're keeping, keeping them at the same size, but we're converting them over to DNG files. Okay, there's the first one. It took 15 seconds. Here's the second one. We'll see how long it takes. 
But this has gotten a lot speedier, speedier. Let me know in the comments section below what you think. How's it working out for you? I know some people have older computers and it could be slow, but if you have a more modern computer, it's going to be fast for you. That second image took 14 seconds an hour on to the third image here. And I want to show you something here at the end that one of my um, commenters and viewers of my channel let me know and taught me something I really didn't know this. The final image doesn't give you the elapsed time that it took, but if you'll come over to this check here and hover over here, it'll tell you that was completed in 15 seconds. Okay, so under a minute it did these three files. I went ahead and opened up the file folder that these files are in now. Now remember they went back to the source file and as you'll see next to each one of these HEIC files is a DNG file, okay? And if I double click on this file right here, it's going to open up Photoshop for me. And you will see that it brings me into Camera Raw because it is a DNG file. All right. And you can see right up here. And it put the uh, prefix after it, right? The standard scale one times DNG. So I know it was only upscaled one time. So it's the original size. But I can come in here and work with my exposure so now i'm working with like a raw file i'll be able to do you know i'll be able to push my processing a lot harder but there you go everyone hey i hope you enjoyed this tutorial today gigapixel ai can convert your camera phone images into raw files that's pretty cool let me know what you think about that in the comment section below i'd love to hear from you if you enjoyed this tutorial today, please give it a like, share it with your friends. If you're not yet a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe, click that bell notification icon. Then every time I upload a new tutorial, you'll be notified about it. And don't forget, this is the last day of the Gigapixel AI sale. Use my promo code David Kelly and save another 15%. Well, I want to thank each and every one of you for joining me today in the joy of editing with Dave Kelly. I'll see you all right here next time. But until then, happy editing.